What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Uber Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, there's a lot of reports now surfacing after the fight, the highly anticipated trilogy match between former Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion, superstar boxer Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, and undefeated rival, two-time heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer Tyson and Gypsy King Fury, was scheduled for July 24th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. With that said, the fight has been postponed due to the fact that Tyson Fury tested positive uh, for Rona 19. And so with that said, uh, there's a lot of talk and chatter and speculation that Deontay Wilder should proceed with the date now that the Tyson Fury fight has been postponed and looks like it's going to be rescheduled for October 9th. So that's uh, four months. So with that said, the boxing world, the boxing pundits and fans are calling for Deontay Wilder to face British heavyweight title contender, star boxer, Dillian White, July 24th. Dillian White is now claiming, according to reports, that he is willing to step in for Tyson Fury July 24th. Uh, Deontay Wilder beats Dillian White July 24th. He still proceeds forward with the fight against Tyson Fury October 9th. That sounds good in a perfect world. But what comes along with that? Right? Let's say Deontay Wilder does proceed and with the date July 24th and replaces Tyson Fury with Dillian White. What legal loopholes is there for Tyson Fury? Legendary promoter, top rank CEO and promoter Bob Arum, uh, matron CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn who promotes Dillian White, and Eddie Hearn promotes two-time unified heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Anthony Joshua. Now, we already know that they have all plans to maneuver around Deontay Wilder and his contractually obligated trilogy match with Tyson Fury. They attempted everything possible to not honor that contract and to move forward with an undisputed showdown between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Now, we know Deontay Wilder, he went to arbitration, right? He went to mediation, arbitration, and the judge ruled in favor of Deontay Wilder and stated that Tyson Fury has to indeed honor the trilogy match with Deontay Wilder, give Deontay Wilder the trilogy match, or retire. No other options. Tyson Fury suddenly test positive is convenient okay uh it's convenient and i believe it's a another maneuver to attempt to get around the trilogy match with tyson fury and deontay wilder it would be a way to say well deontay wilder he had another fight already okay uh it dylan white is not the mandatory challenger for the wbc now the wbc president mauricio suleiman he stated that uh, July 25th, the day after Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder was set to, you know, uh, have their showdown, that he would make a decision or the WBC board would make a decision whether to reinstate Dillian White as the mandatory challenger. Previously, Dillian White was the mandatory challenger until he was brutally knocked out by Alexander Povetkin. Deon uh, Dillian White did come back and knock out uh, uh, Alexander Povetkin in a rematch, but he lost his position as a WBC uh, mandatory challenger. Okay, so the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman stated that, you know, um, they would make their decision on the July 25th following the fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Well, that led me to question, why would you wait to see who the winner is? So that tells me you was basing the mandatory position with Dillian White on who won the fight. If you expected, as Mauricio Suleiman stated, he expected Tyson Fury to petition for a voluntary defense should he beat Deontay Wilder, allowing himself to face Anthony Joshua for Undisputed. They even had a date for Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, August August 14th, 
knowing that he was contractually obligated to face Deontay Wilder in his trilogy match. Well, they were looking to bypass that. If Deontay Wilder is to, you know, say, let's say he wants to say, I want to stay active and I'll, I'll fight Dylan White. There's plenty of people calling for Dylan White fight with Deontay Wilder because this all started when Eddie Hearn uh, used Dillian White essentially as a roadblock between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. When Deontay Wilder was pursuing Anthony Joshua for Undisputed, uh, Eddie Hearn, who promotes both Dillian White and Anthony Joshua, he stated that Deontay Wilder should fight Anthony Dillian White before he fights Anthony Joshua. Deontay Wilder, he agreed, okay, I'll fight Dillian White as long as you put Anthony Joshua in the contract on the back end. Eddie Hearn said that that was that wouldn't be fair to Anthony Joshua to put him in a contract on the back end. So Deontay Wilder said, well, Dillian White is not the mandatory. I don't have to fight Dillian White. I'll fight him only if you guarantee me I'll get Anthony Joshua on the back end. Eddie Hearn was unwilling to do so. With that stated, miraculously, Dillian White started to make his way up the ranking system to become the WBC mandatory challenger for De Deontay Wilder. Now, he already previously was knocked out by Anthony Joshua in the seventh round of their fight, but that fight wasn't for a major sanction belt, okay? That was for a British uh, heavyweight title, okay? A Commonwealth title, Commonwealth title or something of that nature. It wasn't for one of the four major sanction bodies. Dylan White has yet to fight for one of the four major sanction body belts. So obviously he's never been a world champion, okay? So with that said, they used that opportunity to try to pressure De Deontay Wilder into fighting Dillian White uh, in hopes that he would lose to Dillian White, pick up the belt, then they could keep the belts in-house as they're attempting to do with Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. The reason that they're looking to maneuver around Deontay Wilder trilogy match with Tyson Fury is because they want to secure uh, all United Kingdom undisputed showdown. There hasn't been an undisputed heavyweight champion over 100 years in the UK and what better way to have two uh, British fighters fight for Undisputed. You're guaranteed to break the cycle. You're guaranteed to end the drought. Somebody's gonna win uh, um, unless the fight ends in a draw. Somebody's gonna win the fight, right? So you'll end the drought. Thus the reason why it's a win-win situation for a promoter, Frank Warren, Queensberry Promotion CEO who promotes co-promotes Tyson Fury in the UK and Eddie Hearn, who promotes both Anthony Joshua and Dillian White in the UK. They will have delivered and ended the drought. They will be a part of history. So it's a win-win situation for both. Deontay Wilder upsets the apple cart and beats Tyson Fury. Well, then we're back to square one, where it's a 50-50 chance that Tyson Fury, I am mean, excuse me, that the UK may not have an uh, undisputed heavyweight champion and the drought just may not end. So you see... The reason why they don't want to uh, run the risk of Deontay Wilder upsetting the apple cart, plain and simple. So with that said, Dillian White, once again, is being used as a pawn on the chessboard to allow Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua to fight. And Dillian White, he doesn't mind it because why would you push for it? You said it was about the belt. That's what Dillian White said, okay? Dillian White stated that he simply wanted to fight Deontay Wilder because it was about Deontay Wilder and the WBC title. That's what Dillian White stated. Well, currently right now as it stands, Deontay Wilder does not hold one of the four major sanction bouts. He's not the WBC champion. So why would he be so willing and eager to step in to fight Deontay Wilder now that Tyson Fury is unavailable? Because they look into upset and... Uh, throw a, a wrench in the plans of this trilogy match okay i'm sure there's some bob aaron being a promoter uh, a promoter but being a lawyer first uh eddie hearn being a screw businessman they know that there's possible there's some sort of possibility uh some sort of loophole in this contract that would say well deontay wilder he fought anyway you know because see they're, they're obligated to fight each other next keyword next so if deontay wilder fights somebody else and Tyson Fury can say, well, I don't owe him a fight. He fought somebody else. I don't know if that holds to be true, but it seems this is a loophole. Now, miraculously. Now, get this. Dillian White was not willing to fight Anthony Joshua with six weeks when Jarrell Big Baby Miller 
was removed from the fight June 1st, uh, 2019, when Anthony Joshua was making his debut here in the United States as a professional. He fought here in the States as an amateur, but not as a professional. So, Jarrell Big Baby Miller tested positive allegedly for multiple banned substances, and he was removed from the fight with Anthony Joshua. And immediately they looked to Dillian White to replace Jarrell Big Baby Miller in a rematch. And Dillian White turned the opportunity down because Dillian White says he wasn't going to fight Anthony Joshua on a short notice. He needed a full eight-week training camp. Now, get this. He was knocked out by Anthony Joshua in their first fight, but it wasn't for one of the four major sanction bodies, as I stated. This would have been an opportunity for him to fight uh, Anthony Joshua for three of the major sanction belts and the ring magazine belt. And on six-week notice, he would have had six weeks' time, okay? And he turned it down. He turned down the opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua for a belt with six weeks, and he cited that he needed a full eight to ten-week training camp for a fight of that magnitude, okay? Now, that again, that was at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. That was for three major sanction belts and the ring magazine belt and the opportunity to rectify your loss to Anthony Joshua and to make your debut here in the States for a, uh, a huge legacy fight and he turned it down because he didn't have enough time, six weeks. So now you, you're leading me to believe that Dillian White is available to fight Deontay Wilder with nothing on the line. Get this, no belt on the line, okay? On a two-week notice, you heard me, on a two-week notice, he's willing to step in for Tyson Fury, okay? And fight a guy that's coming off of a loss with no belt on the line with only two weeks. But you wasn't willing to fight Anthony Joshua on a six-week notice with three belts, the ring magazine on the line, with Anthony Joshua undefeated and a huge payday and the opportunity to make a debut here in the States at the world's most famous arena. Now you're willing to do so in the States, make your debut here in the States. Not at the world's most famous arena, not for any sanctioned bodies, on a two week notice, you're willing to do that. This lets you know everything you need to know. It's simply about them wanting to knock Deontay Wilder's chess piece off the chessboard, plain and simple. Dillian White is not the man to do it, okay? Dylan White has been knocked out multiple times in his career. He's been hurt badly multiple times in his career. He's not the guy to do it, okay? But they believe that this is an attempt, okay? Uh, maybe they throw caution in the wind. Maybe Dylan White is successful and Deontay Wilder gets plans gets derailed for him to fight uh, Tyson, uh, Tyson Fury and upset the undisputed Apple car. So isn't it amazing, right? That Dillian White, who's 33 years of age, never fought for a world title, never fought in the United States on the big stage. 28 wins, two losses, no draws, 19 wins by way of knockout. He himself was knocked out twice, six foot four, 78 inch arm reach. Okay, he's willing to come here and fight for absolutely nothing on a two week short notice, but wasn't willing to come here to fight for majority of the marbles on a six week notice. Well, I let you know everything you need to know. Uh, I'm not appalled personally to Deontay Wilder fighting and knocking out Dillian White because I believe the fight won't even go past three rounds. I believe Deontay Wilder knocks out Dillian White. Uh, I truly want to see this fight, and I'm not appalled to it. I'm just appalled to the circumstances. What does Deontay Wilder stand to lose should he accept this? Because they know something. There's no way that... Uh, Dillian White is suddenly being pushed to the front of the line to take this fight with Deontay Wilder and fill in for Tyson Fury. Yeah, it's enough time. If he fought July 24th, you know, he has all of August, all of September, and October to prepare for Tyson Fury uh, trilogy. But again, what legal loopholes is in this for them to maneuver around the trilogy? Because there's something. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Bud Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. 
Follow me on Instagram at TV. all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.